Rice Vaggards are off to a dominating start up by 19 points. The biggest lead was actually 20 at 41 to 21 before J.K. Casino made the first three-pointer of Davao Occidental. As you can see, it's only one for them compared to the five of these Rice Vanguards. Overall, Nevesias is looking good even in points off of turnovers, which we highlighted in the first half. Davao is supposedly number three in the league in that category. They average close to 18 per game, but the tides have turned here in Batangas, including the bench scoring. Nueva Ecija dominating it by 12 points. It's been a total team effort para dito sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. On both ends of the floor, offensively, they've been moving that ball around. That's enabled them to get already 11 assists in this game. And on the other side, they've been able to limit Nueva uh, Davao Occidental to just 24 points in the first half. Remember, Davao Occidental, they average 78.6 points per game this season so this is definitely a big achievement para dito sa Kapuna ni Coach Don Dulay definitely using a lot more experience against his former assistant here in uh, Coach Manu Okay, you can see the leading scores only four as balik tayo kay Lupas Culiar against Tumalip TH replaced Bonbon bon Custodio by the way Macaloni goes to Takiwag these last two minutes are brought to you by Game X Game and Sports, the official non- Free throws as well for Tate to Malib. Important opportunities for Davao to get points up on the board with the clock stop. Again, the hustle for the Tigers pulling them through here in this quarter. By the way, it seems like we have to check the fouls on Macaloni. Uh, that should have been five. Yeah. We'll double check it. Tumalip misfires on his first. That was free throw miss number 14 for these Tigers. 15 out of 29. Make it 15. Only at 50%. Yeah, that's going to be one of the things that they're going to look at if and when they lose this game. But good recovery there for Daniel Baila with a steal. That was steal number 10 for Davao. They're also number 3 in the league in steals per outing. They have matched their average. 64-57. Macaloni is still on the floor, so he will proceed only with 4 fouls, apparently. Lucas Culliar. His drive. Culliar. Short. Rebound to Malib. I think that was a hurried shot by Culliar. On the other end, Agovida, no foul. Oh, big nut call there. I saw a lot of contact on that drive from our vantage point. 43 seconds. Davao will have to go for another stop. Nine on the shot clock. Billy Robles. It is a steal. Forward to the Lata. This is going to be a breakaway. Oh, my goodness. A sorry miss of a slam. Well, I thought that he was deciding on whether to just lay it in or slam it home. Excellent steal here. A big pocket by Agovida getting it forward. This could have been an easy bucket para dito by Chris Lalata. A dunk could have given them great momentum. Plus cut the lead to just five. Akiwag will shoot. Uh, even team governor Bong Baribar showing a lot of frustration on that bench para dito sa Davao Occidental you know yes they have all the right to get mad at that non-call I too thought that was a foul but they shouldn't blame that single play as the one play that derailed their chances of getting the victory in this game there were a lot of factors that played into this situation they didn't start well their defense was so bad in the first half as well as their offense they weren't able to shoot from the outside, plus their horrendous shooting from the free throw line. Coach Don 
Sean Dulay. As for Davo, it's back-to-back -back losses for them. Yeah, that's going to be a painful loss for the Tigers. I think that they only had themselves to blame in this game. Yes, you know, there were some calls that didn't go their way, but ultimately, that's not how you want to look at the game. You have to look at what you can control, and ultimately, it was the free throw shooting that really did them in sa laro na to. It's 15 misses from the strike, 50% shooting for Davo at the line, and they lose by 8 points. Now, of course, you want to give some shout-outs? Do you want to name some players? Of course, Macaloni, despite the limited time that he had on the floor, still delivered good numbers in terms of the rebounding. JC Culliar was... Makes our daily fantasy best player of this game. Walang iba kon DC Robbie Celis. And for our Battle of Champions, panalo ang Nueva Ecija. First of all, congratulations, Robbie. Robbie, maganda yung naging simula ninyo. Ano? But along the way, nakapick up ng uh, momentum noong second half itong Davao. Saan ba kayo nagkamali o san, ano naging problema during that time? Uh, first of all, syempre, no? uh, marami rin silang uh, mga veterano. So, siguro yung second half, uh, second half namin, nasyado kami nag-relax, so nakahabol. Pero, yun nga, panalo. Thank God na nakuha namin yung panalo. After this game, hindi pa rin magiging madali ang buwan ng August para sa inyo, especially your next three games. Paano nyo ba masusustain yung ganitong klase ng intensity or even improve it given na merong possibility na ma-burnout sa hirap ng mga kalaban? Um, well, ngayon sa mga teams, wala namang madali. Kahit sinong kalaban namin talagang malalakas. So, siguro kailangan namin kunin sa practice. And uh, yun, hopefully, magtuloy-tuloy yung panalo namin. Well, that's a great point. Meron ka bang gustong batihin o pasalamatan? Um, yes, unang-una nagpapasalamat ako kay uh, Boss Bong Cuevas at sa Bong Cuevas family. Binabati ko rin yung family ko, sa wife ko, kay Donna, kay Rob, kay Daniel, sa tatay ko, sa Bulacan, kay Mama Tess, sa mga tito-tita ko dyan sa feria, at sa lahat mga tropa sa Paranaque, sa feria at sa Diliman. Yun lang. Alright, thank you so much. Once again, that is Robbie Celis, our Daily Fantasy Best Player of this game. Dahil dito sa Daily Fantasy, hawak mo ang laro. Back to you guys. Thank you, Andrea. And we see I got the momentum that they wanted from this game. Just moving forward, sending their home court against the Paranaque Patriots. So stay tuned for more. Thank you for joining us in our Battle of Champions for Andrea Indicio and Javi Palanya. My name is Mix Gomez at magbabalik ko po ang Mahardika Pilipinas Basketball League, ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino.